Hello, and welcome to the Gamer's Closet. I'm your host, Douglas Weed, and today we're going to be talking about Bedbugs. Bedbugs is a dexterity action game made by Milton Bradley in 1985. The game runs for about 10 minutes of game time, is rated for 2-4 to four players, and is rated for ages 6 and up. But let's dig into it a little further, shall we? Bedbugs is the frantic new catch and capture game where you pick the color and then scramble to get the most bugs. Bedbugs! Bedbugs! Don't let them get away! Bedbugs! Bedbugs! It's a wacky game to play! Bedbugs! Bedbugs! Don't be no sleep today! Bedbugs! Bedbugs! You'll get carried away! Bedbugs from Milton Bradley. It'll drive you buggy! Bedbugs was released in 1985 by Milton Bradley. It's one of a series of several games that were created by Milton Bradley in the early to mid-80s that were battery-operated. In this game, you and your opponents try to collect bedbugs from Whitey Wake's bed with hand-eye coordination and several small tongs. The winner of this game is determined by who can collect the most bedbugs. The game has been released in multiple languages, which includes English, Canadian English and French, Dutch, French, and Spanish. This game does come with multiple pieces. It comes with one motorized bed with cardboard plane surface and battery lid, four tongs, 48 bed bug plane pieces, one set of instructions, and does require two C batteries to play. Something is bugging our pal, Y.D. Wake. He's all tucked in, ready for some shut-eye, but he can't sleep. All because his bed is shaking and quaking with 48 creepy, crawly bedbugs. You and your friends can send Y.D. Wake to Dreamland by playing bedbugs, and here's how. To set up this game, place two size C batteries located here in the photo. Afterwards, place the battery lid and the surface play area onto the map. Put 48 bugs on top of the bed play surface and give each player a pair of tongs. The youngest player slides the on-off switch to on and shouts out one color, either red, blue, yellow, or green. As the bed shakes, all players use their tongs to pick up bugs of the announced color. Players hunt and capture all at the same time, so the play is fast and frantic. Players put their captured bugs into piles in front of them. When all of the bugs of the announced color are no longer on the bed, any uncaptured bugs, ones that jumped off the bed, or wrongly captured bugs, ones of the not announced color, are quickly tossed back onto the bed. Frantically, the player to the left of the youngest player now shouts out a color, and again, all players try to capture bugs of that color. Hunt and capture as I've gone over until all of the bugs have been captured. The announcing of the next color to be captured always passes to the player on the left and it only occurs after captured bugs or wrongly captured bugs are returned to the playing surface. To win this game, count up your captured bugs. Each player does the same. Whoever has the most captured bugs wins the game. Well, this has been an overview of Bed Bugs from Milton Bradley. Bed Bugs is a very kid-friendly game. Uh, it is very organized and very easy to pick up. It doesn't have a lot of setup time, so younger children will have a decent time playing this game. Um, like I said, it doesn't require a lot of setup time, so you can jump right in right away. Uh, it is battery operated, so you will may need to make sure you have batteries. And if you do find a copy online, I would double check it before you try to bring it to a game night just to make sure all of the motor components will work in this game. Uh, the game itself is very easy to pick up, like I said. Uh, it is very kid-friendly. It is a really decent game if you want to uh, get younger kids into gaming, but if you're looking for a meteor game or more of an advanced game for a game night of older people, uh, this is not the game I would go with. It is a decent retro game, but if you want something more complex, I would probably recommend finding something else. Uh, this is in Milton Bradley's uh, Younger Kids series, kind of like Ants in Your Pants or Don't Break the Ice, something along those lines. Um, I started on this game when it first came out in the early 80s, so it is a very good uh, springboard game into uh, heavier gaming. 
Um, but like I said, if you want to have a decent game night with some of the adults or teenagers, I would honestly pick something else. But if you haven't played Bed Bunch before, I would at least recommend giving it a try. It is a decent game for what it is. And like I said, if you want to bring kids into gaming, this is a really good option for you. So if you haven't played Bed Bugs, I would recommend this game. Well, that's it from us here at the Gamers Plaza. We'd like to thank you for checking out our video on Bed Bugs from Milton Bradley. If there's a game in the future you'd like us to review or go over, please put it in the comments below. Please hit subscribe so that way you can be the first to check out our future content. And as always, please, have a great gaming day.